So now almost we have understood how the detail view controller is working. I can understand you haven't understood that perfectly, but this is how the things works. You just think you just see the things for the first time. You get confused. You just watch the videos a number of times and go through with the co code a number of times. And then one day you will understand that. But nothing is too much tough out here. Everything is quite simple and easy. If you'll just you just need to revise that a number of times. Okay, so now what we need to do is again, go back on to the scale and 75% so that detail is out there. Okay, so we need to configure this view. So there should be a method that must be calling when I tap on this plus icon and it should enter a new blank note. And obviously this is not going to be discussed again because we just want to go back and load the data and everything is pretty simple. And we have a table view. I'll not discuss the table view again because we have talked a lot about it. There are only two functions that need to be configured out there. And notice we have got a functionality and oops, not like that. Okay, we have got a functionality that can simply swipe to delete and as well as you can click on the done, you can click on the edit, tap on this and delete. Now I haven't added this functionality manually. It was being given to me in the template. I have just uh, uh, tried to tweak it a little sometime, not this time. Okay, so let's just try to stop that and go into the master view controller out there. Okay, we obviously have seen the functions that I have configured and we also don't need to discuss about the table view. Let's start from the top. We have just defined the variables and all that. So as soon as first thing that we need to do is this guy new object. Okay. Now in this case, particular case, I have decided that as soon as I tap on the insert new object, the top plus icon, and what I need to do is insert that object dot insert default node at index zero. So at the top of my table, insert a node that says default node, which is the variable if I look at is a blank. Okay, so insert that blank in that and just uh, keep an index for that by using the index path and add an index row at that and pretty simple and obvious stuff. Okay, so my new object is being inserted. Now I will give you an assignment on based on that, that if I tap on that, you just have to move on to a different segue and don't insert that default note out there. Okay, we'll talk about that in a moment or in the next movie. And after that, you need to prepare for the segue because as soon as the blank note is out there, I'm expecting the user to tap on it and he needs to prepare for the segue that is moving on to the next screen. So I'm saying that the segue identifier is the show detail, which is which was already there. I haven't done anything. And what I have done is simply once I get the index dot index path dot row, that means I now know the index or where the user is tapping by the uh, row method. I want to change my selected field to that particular index row where the user is tapping and I'm taking it onto the next screen. Now this method was not useful for me, this line. So I've commented that out. And also previously it was saying as uh, controller dot detail item equals to object controller dot navigation item. But I don't need to say controller anymore because I have my own controller that is detail view controller. I want to go out there and I have already got my variable for that. So I have changed it to the detail view controller. And there is a question mark out there because I want to just unwrap the optional chaining which because my uh, method is actually being having an optional value. It can be nil, it cannot be nil. So again, depends what we want to do. And uh, after that, we have got a table view. That is nothing much. I haven't touched it uh, literally. And uh, this is how we do that. So table view and function and uh, the editing style like delete was already there. I haven't done anything inside that. Uh, save data and all of this is out there. Okay, quite good so far. Uh, we have discussed all of that. Now, one thing important that is out here in this part, that view did load. Now, as soon as the view did load, we need to call master view is equals to cell because we want to configure the master view by itself. And if you'll not uh, simply not write this line, this is also not going to work here out there because we uh, our master view is not configured and we are not uh, we will not be able to call the master view inside this function as well if you don't make this change like master view is being configured automatically 
and of course uh, we need to call this load data and save data quite a number of times so what you can see out there in the line number 29 that one of the best way to use the load data function or one point to use the load data function is inside the view did load so as soon as the view is about to load we want to load the data quite a good point to have that um, we cannot argue much on that and i have also commented these lines these are not required uh, these are just simply configuring the detail view controller but we don't want to configure that on the prepare for segue which is or view did load we don't want to do that right now we want to configure our detail view right on where it is actually loading that is there in the view did load or the detail view and as soon as my view will disappear we just want to have this function exactly but we want to add a save data function out there because now we are transferring our view from uh, or transferring our view back from the detail view controller notice this view will appear will be loaded as soon as we prepare our segue or we just move from the detail view to the master view so a save data is really a good point to call up here and I haven't touched about the memory warnings and all of that and I haven't touched much about the insert new object and all of that but I have touched this prepare for segue and we have already discussed that so no need to discuss that again table view is not being touched and these comments were already there I have just placed a couple of comments like this one okay quite an easy app nothing much fancy but uh, for the new beginners I would uh, not lie this is too much of code for them so uh, if you are not very comfortable it's okay it's okay it's quite okay for the first time viewers to get uh, overwhelmed or getting intimidating and all of that but uh, really it's not about that it's all about your patience level how you are patient about uh, having that app now here is a task for you convert that sticky app with the capital S into this exact looking app now feel free to cheat from this app or look from the stack overflow overflow or wherever you want to this is not going to be the app where we are going to publish it because because uh, we haven't uh, all of our code is not our own exactly i have also looked here and there for that so nothing much to be worried okay in the next movie i'll give you a couple of assignments and most of our assignment will be out there in the insert new object guys so where is that guy just let me have a look and and let me just see that where that guy goes out there it was somewhere here and in the small screen it's really hard to find and here is that insert new object so all of your assignment that i'll be giving you in the next movie or dictating you in fact will be out there in the insert new object so keep a close eye on that